Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today I am back to help you with part three of our virtual zoo spreadsheet. So, my friends, let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends. So, if you remember right, this is the end of part two where we learned how to do average, min, and max. And it did the calculations for each column, and then we also did some sweet formatting to make these look uh, bold and nicer. Now, we're going to show you a couple things that people had wrong. So if the lion had between four to six, some people still had it where it said four to six. That does not give an accurate result. See, it says the average is 8,000. So what I asked you to do when you were collecting data was to put a number like six or the max. This max was four. Now the numbers are correct. So some of the ones I checked, you're going to have to go back and fix those. Same thing for these. I saw some people that instead of 550 had uh, 400 to 600. And watch, that wrecks all these numbers. So it wasn't that the numbers were perfect when you put them in. There were some where we had to go up or so, go down, but we did had to have one number with no labels. I'll show you that as well. If you did 191 and put the kg after it, see how it says 392? All of a sudden, it totally eliminates that number, so your numbers aren't accurate. So I'm going to put my 191 back, and then it's good. All right, now that we've got that out of the way and the things that you need to fix, the next step is to fix the decimals. So to fix it, I'm going to just go up here, and I'm going to decrease decimal places. Notice it rounded from 222 to 223. So this is 392.4. Think about it if you're in math class. What's that going to round to? And let's watch. One, two, three. It stayed at 392. It came down. We'll round this one up to 12 because it was 11.6. I like one decimal place on the offspring, though. So today's project, friends, is going to be to create a couple charts. We're going to do a chart about the height, and we're going to do a chart about the weight. So I want you to grab from the word animal down to tree frog, or whatever your last one is, and then I want you to hold control on the keyboard and grab just the height. So notice these rectangles cover the same amount of the spreadsheet, and then we can go over and simply hit the insert chart. This makes an amazing chart that shows that our giraffe is the tallest and the tree frog is the smallest. Then we can go to Customize, and if we go to Axis and Titles, this would be Animal Height. Now it's got that awesome label. I'm going to leave it for Auto on the size, and I'm going to leave it on the color being Auto. If we click on the series, though, you can see right now the color of our bars is what they chose. I am going to change this to kind of match the greens that I had earlier. So now those are similar, just for fun. One cool thing you can do is add data labels so you can see the exact number so it's easier to read when some of the numbers are super small. If we check the legend, this would be on the side here. So if we switch from auto to top, notice it puts height centimeters above it. That's up to you if you like it. I think it looks pretty sharp. You can see what it looks like on the left. I don't like that at all. These are the things you can do to make your chart really tell the story you want. I'm going to switch to the horizontal axis. These are the words down here. This is horizontal. One neat thing you can do is put them at an angle. On the vertical axis, you can see right now uh, I have those numbers to the left. I like them the way they are but you could mess with these and find different ones if you wanted. You really want to make sure that your chart tells the real story. Then you could also add grid lines. Mine are at the hundreds, which is set by auto, which is pretty slick. So quickly, we're going to repeat that one more time, selecting from the word animal down to tree frog, holding down control, and grabbing the weight. When they are both selected, we can simply hit the insert chart button. I'm going to put this down below. Notice this time it shows us that the heaviest animal is still the giraffe. And then I'm going to go through the customize and I'm going to adjust those as well so that my chart looks amazing. Let's add that title for animal weight. And then I'm going to switch to series. I'm going to make this one of the yellows. 
I'm going to pick that one. It's a little brighter. I think I'm going to switch. That kind of fits a little better. And then I do want my legend. I'm going to once again put it at the top. Weight in kilograms. Notice that makes it so much more clear what the chart is telling us. And then also on the horizontal axis, I'm going to put these at the 30 degree angle as well just because that looks pretty slick. This is a good chance to compare between when you do have the labels and when you don't. I really like those labels, so I'm going to go back to the series and I'm going to add the data labels as well. Alrighty friends, so let's review everything we learned so far. Uh, we did the format painter. Remember we picked the cool format and we painted it to the other cells. Um, zooming is nice right now when you're trying to turn in your project. You can get it to a size you want. Uh, this fits 100% on my screen, but you may find you have to shrink yours down. We did decrease decimals today. That was real cool and it made it go this way. We used lots of different fonts, font size. We made things bold. We changed the color. We did the borders. We also used fill. We used merge and center where we selected a bunch of cells and made them into one group. We also did alignment. We did not mess with these at all. Those will come with different lessons and we also didn't mess with these but today we did do the chart and the other day we did the awesome formulas and then also we learned that labels wreck formulas. So make sure you have that all fixed and friends it is time to turn in a screenshot of your awesome work. Friends, if you enjoyed these lessons, please give them a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.